Hi lovely viewers, it's me again your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Good afternoon everybody. Where are you watching me from? Come and watch me. My name is Crystal. I'm going to speak about the one-term UPND government. I'm going to start by giving an example of Botswana. What just happened with Botswana and they just ended elections, general elections they had. In Botswana, that former president who was actually booted out yesterday, the whole time that he was in office, the only thing he did was fight his predecessor who was Ian Kama. All the time it was on Ian Kama. And coming to Zambia, if we look at the three years that UPND has been in government, President Haga Inde Hichilema has been in office for three years. But the only thing that's happening is every day, it is Eddie Galungu, Eddie Galungu this, Eddie Galungu that, every time. Eddie Galungu is being followed, just like what happened to Ian Kama in Botswana. So, this just shows that UPND, come 2026, they are also going to leave the way the government that was in power in Botswana left because of fighting Eddie Galungu here. UPND, 2026, you are going. You cannot be fighting a former president for the past three years. You are just fighting him. You are fighting him, you guys are not working. Him, he worked. If we look at the country, he worked. Everything is visible. We are able to see everything that he did. But with UPND, what have they done? Nothing. The only thing they've done is fighting Eddie Galungu today, tomorrow, his family, which is not supposed to be the case. You are supposed to fight the poverty levels in Zambia that have now come in now under the UPND government. You were supposed to fight the fuel prices. They're supposed to come to 12 kwacha like you promised us. A 25 kg of millimeal breakfast meal was supposed to be at 50 kwacha like you promised. But what do you people do? The only thing you do is you keep fighting Eddie Galungo. For what? We don't know. Reasons? We don't know. It is only yourselves who know why you are fighting him each and every day. And you're not supposed to do that. The Zambian people voted you in power to come and try to put things in place that you promised. You yourself, you promised to say, fuel to a quarter. This is what the Zambians wanted to say. To buy a bag of millimeter at 50 quarter, that's a 25 kg. But we're not seeing all that. The only thing we're seeing from you is fighting Eddie Galungu. Fighting Eddie Galungu will not take you anywhere. Instead, it will just lead you to living in 2026. Like what has just happened in the just ended elections in Botswana. That's what has happened. And that is coming here also. We like it or not. People are hungry. People are crying every day. They are starving. And we can't be just seated and keeping quiet and just listening to say, Oh, Eddie Galungu this, Eddie Galungu that. And the family. No! We don't want to hear that. We want to see prices of the commodities go down. Not every time to hear to say, Eddie Galungu has done this, Eddie Galungu did this. Stop it. You are supposed to work for the Zambian people. We are supposed to have balanced diets, balanced meals. But with you guys, there's nothing. The only thing we're getting is that Eddie Galungu made sure each and every Zambian had a balanced meal in their homes. They had, their diets were okay, but now, because of poor diets, there is no proper meals in homes. People are suffering now from different diseases because you're not working. You're not doing what you're supposed to do. That office you came in, you were supposed to work for the Zambians and not come to fight Ed Galungu. Ed Galungu worked. When we talk of the youths, the youth he created a space for youth to work. Example, the roads, the toll gates, the hospitals, the international airports, who were building? It is the youth. That was a creation for employment for the youths. 
This is why under Eddie Galungu, we didn't have junkies like now. Because those junkies that are there now are the youths who, do, who are not employed, who do not have anything in their pockets. But under Edgar Lungu, we didn't have junkies. We never had these problems. Because those youths were put to good use. They were working. They were busy and no time for drugs or alcohol, nothing, even to attack people. But now because they don't have where to vent, you know, to look for a job, they, they cannot get employment anyway. People are not employing. Things are bad in the country. This is why now we have those junkies now. The hospitals, the ones who built at the youth, the international airports, the ones who were built in our youth. It's not the elderly people, it is the youth that were building those things. So, this thing of leaving the youth out, is, uh, this is just causing so, so much problems. And when you talk of Eddie Galungu saying that Eddie Galungu, yeah, he was uh, a thief, he was uh, crediting too much, yes, he credited. But when he got those monies, he borrowed monies from out, those monies were put to good use. Today, we're able to even point at the things that he did with the monies. That money was put to good use. We've got modern infrastructure in our country that we never had. We've got malls, we've got roads, flyover bridges. Name it, the KK International Airport. All that is the money that you will keep on saying that he's borrowing, borrowing. Now come to UPND. You've been borrowing every time you're borrowing, borrowing. Where are you putting that money? Where is it going? Because we are not able to see where that money that you're borrowing is going. What are you doing with that money? Eddie Galungu, him is, everything is visible. We're able to see, we're able to point at the things that he did with the borrowed money. But with you guys, where's the money going? Would like to know, me as a Zambian citizen, a young lady here, I would like to know where those monies you are borrowing, where are you taking that money? What are you using it for? Because we are not seeing nothing. The only things that are there are the things that Eddie Galungu put up himself with his regime, not UPND. UPND have not done anything, though you keep borrowing huge amounts of money. There are huge sums we always hear on the news. So much has been borrowed, so much has been borrowed, but where are you putting it? It's not going to good use. Where are you taking the money to? We would like to know. We would like to know. Because you people criticize Eddie Galungu, but Eddie Galungu with the monies, he did marvelous things. There is massive infrastructure, modern art in the country. But with you guys, what have you done? Nothing. There is nothing completely. Come into Amayova Nalumango, our vice president. Please, to Papata, look at the women, Bamai. You are a mother, you are a grandmother. Women are suffering. Girl children are suffering. They are being abused every day on a daily basis. The women are suffering to even tread. They are being chased from the streets. Please come and help the women. Speak for the women, Bamai. The time that we had former vice president, Bamai Wainonge, she worked in collaboration with the president, Eddie Galungu, and she made sure that the women were comfortable. Each and every woman, even the girl child, they were never abused. Everybody were comfortable for the women because women are the ones who take care of the home. Example, that market opposite Simpson. Kindly see how to open that market so that those women can go into the market and trade from there so that they can actually make something to buy a loaf of bread to take home for the children. A woman is one who keeps a home, am I? She keeps a home. So if you don't speak for the women and the girl children, then we're in trouble. It starts with you in the top office. You're supposed to speak for us and the little girls out there so that this abuse that women and girl children encounter on a daily basis can come to an end. Can you look into the women? Coming to the other thing is, you know, with a woman, a woman is the one who actually even puts that home together. So if we don't take part in trying to put a woman's like worlds or things together, it becomes very difficult.
even for me if things are tough for me i won't be able to even run my home because things are difficult so but if a woman is supported and has a strong base where they stand i tell you even this country will be on another level so the women need to be looked after properly even the youth they have to be looked after then coming to you know in zambia we've got different races we've got indians we've got uh, whites we've got chinese name them those who are born and bred in zambia come out let's speak let us not be scared let's come out in numbers and let's speak so that we help with the governance of this country let us speak when things are wrong let us not be hiding and complaining in the back let's come out in numbers and speak we've only got one zambia whether you are white whether you are indian you are chinese you are japanese you are lebanese you are zambian born in zambia bred in zambia let us come out and speak so that we also contribute to the governance system in the country things are going down each and every day because some of you don't want to speak out you want to keep quiet but if you come out also we work together all of us as one things will be better for our country let's come out and speak let's not keep quiet let us all stand strong 2026 is around the corner let's speak we're having general elections very soon so let us not hide let's come out and speak let's air things that we feel are not right than us keeping quiet let's all come out and speak coming to the pf leadership i'm humbly asking the pf leadership from the top to be united and strong so that we the grassroots also can be strong and united and the other thing is we are having elections soon we've only got a year plus pf leadership let us not sleep upnd have not done anything in the past three years there's nothing they've done that they can point at so us we are not supposed to even sit back this is the time for us to even start working even more because we are going towards elections general elections which is in 2026 it's around the corner we don't need to wait for next year 2025 for us to wear our working shoes we have to wear our working shoes now we are humbly asking the pf leadership to give us direction in how we are going to start to wear our working shoes from now between now and 2026 to the general elections we need to be guided a lot of people are asking everywhere so how are we moving now because we've only got a year plus we don't have answers some of us example me myself i'm asked every day whenever i try to take a walk this side i go that side people are asking me they're asking to say digital branch election mukamba branch i only respond to say we're waiting for direction from the top leadership so please the top leadership i'm aging and asking you to kindly give us direction in the way we should move we thank grassroots media so so much for being a mouthpiece for many zambians and may god always continue blessing grassroots and their uh, associates all the time thank you so much all right that's all right for you today lovely viewers if you did enjoy the video please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below i'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers once again i go by the name of mutatim pondum i love you peace i gotta go